Hi, this is Heidi from Garden Crossings and I am up here on Mackinac Island for the Grand Garden Show. And today I'm gonna to take you through one of the gardens that I'm gonna be a docent for. This here is the Hollyhock Cottage. So let's take a walk through it and get a little history and uh, just see what all the beautiful flowers are here in the garden. So this is the cottage that is at the very top of the West Bluff. This was the smallest cottage in the series when they were originally built. And um, in the last 10 years, it went through, or 10 years ago, it went through a huge just reconstruction job where they added on, renovated it, and the gardens have totally been redone. This was one of the first gardening projects that Jack Barnwell, um, a big project that Jack Barnwell took on, and it really is the one that kind of got him started in the big landscaping project. One of the signature things that Jack's, Jack does is these dry stack walls where he'll just stack these flat stones on top of each other and tuck some of the boulders in. And the reason for this is it creates a nice uh, border between the flowers and the grass. So you don't have to worry about the grass getting into your flower beds. It's really easy for cleaning up the gardens, mowing the lawn and stuff. You just have to take a weed whipper and the gardens stay really clean. In the front of this cottage, you can see there's a beautiful window box that just lines the whole way. This is a southern facing cottage. And you can see all the beautiful plants that they have here. The limelight hydrangeas are looking really good. There are some boxwoods tucked in there, so that's gonna give some evergreen look for in the winter. Although there's hardly anybody that live up here um, on Mackinac Island in the winter. I think there's probably only about 500 people or so. Um, but really a be very beautiful cottage. As we take the way around, you can see there's a much larger wall here with the dry stacking going on with some bigger boulders. Uh, these boulders were brought in. Um, there was tons and tons of rock that was brought in for this project. As we head back, we're gonna show you where the addition starts and where the old cottage um, ended. And we're just gonna head up the stairs here and take a look. So when Jack does plantings, a lot of what he does is uh, under plantings so that way not a lot of weeding and maintenance needs to be done. So you can see in this garden there's a lot of creeping jenny and that's purposely placed just to kind of be a ground cover to not have to worry about the weeds. Tucked in between the walls he'll often tuck in some little um, ground covers and such too just to add a little character into the garden. We'll walk up the stairs and as long as you're doing a garden big landscape project, you might as well create little spaces in the garden. And here is an absolutely beautiful space in this garden. Not a large space, but just a perfect quaint size space for four, four chairs and check out the view that they have. As they're sitting here in this little space, they have the view of the Mackinac Bridge and then the Straits of Mackinac. Can you imagine sitting out here at night, the beautiful sunsets that would be happening? This has got to be one of the most peaceful little places here in this garden. Walking along, you can see there's a lot of hydrangeas and daisies, some sedum, daylilies. And this is a mature garden, it's about 10 years old. So as we're walking this way, this is where the old cottage ends and the new cottage begins. When they are doing additions on any of these cottages, in the, um, this is the state park area here on Mackinac Island, they have to make a difference of what they look like. So here you can see there's that tiny bead on the board that signifies it's the old cottage. And as we go down just a little bit here, you'll notice there's no bead on these boards. So this is signifying the new cottage. They want it for histor history purposes, they wanna know what is the original and what is the new addition. So really this cottage almost doubled, I think at least doubled in size when they put the addition on. Check out this gorgeous container here. It's got the surefire begonias and it looks like Vista Paradise. And then a few of the purple sun patients. Really a very pretty combination. Putting reds and purples together isn't always, or reds and pinks together isn't always what I think of doing, but that looks really great. So talk about scary check out this wall here. These giant boulders, these were all dry stacked as well with the use of very little modern machinery. A lot of these were placed just using horses to get them where they needed to be. So this is really trusting your landscaper that these aren't gonna fall down. And this is just a gorgeous wall that they've created in this space. 
making our way around the corner. You can see it's getting shadier here. A lot of hostas in this particular area. Really big, beautiful hostas. And then they've really incorporated in a lot of hydrangeas as well. So it is the end of August right now. And you can see all the beautiful color here from the hydrangeas in this garden. This garden is really stacked and layered. So that really kind of creates a neat space as well. Some beautiful boxwoods just to give that nice uh, evergreen look and very formal looking too, the way that they're trimmed. Some of the beautiful mystic illusion dahlias, some truffle of pink gomfrina. So just add a little bit of stuff in here for the pollinators. Look at there, there's a beautiful bee. So in the back, they also created a space when they created this garden. And here it is, just kind of a more of a private space where not everybody from the road can see you. So this too, will, they'll be able to see beautiful sunsets through the trees, but just a nice space. One thing I should point out is when the addition was built onto this cottage, this was a giant hill. And I think Jack said it was about 30 foot, 40 foot drop. And the hill was just going right onto the edge of the cottage. So they had to dig out all this dirt to put the addition on and to help restore the original cottage as well. 200 dump trucks full of soil had to be removed from the space to get this created. Jack is a pretty smooth talker, so he convinced one of the garden or one of the homeowners up the road that they really needed to redo their horse pasture by adding in a bunch of soil and building it up. So it was an easy removal, just having to go a couple doors down to get the soil out of the space. Can you imagine if he had to remove 200 dump truck loads off the island? That would have been pretty pricey. So we'll walk up this beautiful staircase and you can see how nestled in all these rocks, he's got all the little pockets all filled in with some annuals and some perennials. It gets shadier as we make our way up this garden. And again, a really beautiful space and place that's just so peaceful and quiet. Beautiful birch trees. I love how the path leads out to this gate, which then takes them to their uh, carriage house. So most of the, not most, but a lot of these hostess houses on the island also have horses because the only means of transportation on Mackinac Island is horses or bicycles. So the path continues to the road and out back to their horse pasture. Let's go take a look. So some of the horses are just kind of for looks, but these particular horses are actually working horses. Um, the owner does frequently ride them and they are a means of transportation for her as she's getting around the island. Some beautiful, beautiful black horses back there. Starting to smell a little horsey and that might be the reason why. Great though for putting in the gardens, a natural fertilizer to some of the best looking gardens here on the island. This is Heidi from Garden Crossings. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Hollyhock Cottage on Mackinac Island.